So in this episode of Viral Rewind, we're looking at an interesting DOS virus called Techno. And Techno is pretty much known for its payload, but in terms of other capabilities, it is another file infector, which when it runs, it will infect all the files in the current directory that the Techno virus is located in. So here we've got a copy of the DOS directory in a temporary directory called tempdos. Along with the Techno virus, it will be run Techno all those files in the directory will get overwritten with the techno virus and we'll see their size increase so for example uh, let's see we've got the command.back file which is 37,856 that's a backup of the normal command.com file that's in the directory which is the same size so let's go ahead and run techno there's a little bit of a pause there, and then we get this printout. Hello, this is a 100.com test file from 93. So if we look at command.com now, it's now increased to 38,979. The other thing about Techno is it's also supposed to infect the main command.com file that the system boots with. So let's go to the normal DOS directory and look at the command.com there. And you see it's also 38,979. Again, the normal size is like 37,872, something like that we saw before. So it has also infected the normal command.com the system uses in the DOS directory every time it boot. So obviously this means every time the computer boots up, the technovirus is going to get loaded into memory. So not only will that allow it to continue its file infection routine, but it will also guarantee that the techno payload will appear every time the computer is booted up with that infected.com file. So, let's go back to our temporary DOS directory. And now we're going to try to look at the payload. And the thing about Techno's payload is that it's random. It's not entirely clear if it needs a specific date, a specific time, how many times a program runs, if there's a certain timer that it it waits on for how many minutes, seconds go by. Again, if I leave the computer alone like this, the techno payload can go off. If I run a program a certain number of times, techno will go off. So it's got a very particular randomization on when the payload appears. So what I've done is I've made a batch file that's going to run techno over and over. So I'm going to load that up. And this is just going to run that infected techno.com virus we started with over and over. So, we'll come back when the payload shows. Okay, so I terminated the batch job, because I also realized that I had apparently forgotten to run this nice 60 hertz DOS program this whole time. So you guys have been stuck watching the screen flashing at you or flickering so I'm going to rerun that batch file now and we're going to do this again but this time without all the flickering of the 75 hertz DOS refresh rate or 70 hertz I should say oh. and look now we got the payload So you get this little text printout that is printing techno, techno, techno over and over on the screen. You got that little music thing going on with the internal speaker. And it doesn't allow any control input because if you try to press the keyboard, don't touch the keyboard. And it will do this until it fills the entire screen up and then it will display techno in great big letters.
back the video up so I can show you that still image there of the ending of the techno payload where it shows it in big letters there. And then it returns us to DOS after the payload finishes. Now the payload can repeat. But again, it gets random because as you saw after I started the batch file again, it only took a few iterations before the payload came up as before. It just kept iterating and iterating and that's part of the reason I stopped it. So yeah, Techno's got a random payload, but that's what the payload is once it runs. So that's pretty much it for the Techno DOS virus.